well as when you're looking at roof age on a manufactured home, uh, the 15 year mark is about as high as they want to go before you need a new roof or they probably won't cover it. Um, other things of just any kind of renovations or updates, um, if the house is tied down, um, you know, a, a lot of factors go into manufactured homes because there's probably a little bit higher of a risk that um, a claim does occur there. Hypothetically I don't, speaking, I don't, I don't know exactly if this is something you can calculate, but let's say somebody had a $200,000 budget um, and there's a single family home and there's the same price manufactured home, same years, all that. Mm -hmm. What type of difference are we talking about in rates? Um, you, honestly, man, um, I, you know, the older the manufactured home, the higher the premium. Uh -huh. Sometimes it could double um, the, the same valued home that's stick built per se compared to a manufactured home just because it's kind of diminishing in value. So two like 20 year old homes, one's yeah. manufactured, one's stick built, and then insurance manufacturers could almost be always going to be higher on the manufactured home. Okay. Because so you're kind of you're kind of getting to the end of the the life on the home when you get closer to 20 years. Now there are some manufactured homes that you know have been remodeled or kept up very well. That that's not always the case, but uh, for the majority, uh, manufactured homes 20 and older are a uh -huh. diminishing product.